Hello friends and welcome back to Stay Tonight. In this video, we'll talk about what is Git. Now, some of you might be already aware of what Git is, but this video is especially for the beginners who have recently heard about Git and GitHub or maybe Bitbucket and are you know still not able to understand the whole concept around why Git was required and why it is uh, such a crucial skill to have if you want to become a web developer or a software developer or in general want to uh, uh, get into the IT industry. So in this video, we'll unpack, you know, uh, the need of Git, what Git actually does and uh, why it's such an important skill to have. So let's get started. Git is a free and open source version control system for your project's code files. So version control system is nothing but a way to keep a track of changes that have been done to the various code files in your project over a period of time by different contributors. Uh, contributors can be you know, different people working on the same project. It can be your friends or if you're working in a company, it can be your teammates who are working on the same project and are working on the same code files that you are working on or any you know a group of people are working on as the versions of the code file are maintained by git so at any given point of time if you face any fatal error because of some code change some recent code change that you have made you can easily go back to the previous stable version and that is one of the major benefit that git provides now the version control bit is fine but is that the only thing that git provides well the answer to that is no because that is something that people can also do manually and a lot of us still do that although it's always advisable to have a git repository set for the project code but still people in their early career into IT industry still have that habit of keeping copies of code so if version control system is not the only thing that git provides so then what are the other things that git is used for or the need for Git arise. So let's take an example to understand the larger picture here. Imagine a situation where you want to build a website and for some service that you want to offer, consider it a startup venture that you want to get into. So you start working on the code. And as you move on with the code, the number of files for the code increases. And at one point you feel that there is a need for another developer, you need some help. So you ask your friend and you know, he joins you in the team and you both start working on the same website. The first step that you'll do is you'll share a copy of the, the whole project code with your friend and he'll keep that copy locally and will start working on that uh, project code files, right? But if you both work on the same file at any given point of time, you'll have to sit back together, let's say every week or after every two, three days to merge the code changes that you both have done in the same file. Now consider after certain period of time or after a few weeks you realize that you need another person because the size of the code is growing, the features, you are adding more features to the website that you are creating, you need one more uh, person to help you out. So you ask another friend of yours to come join your team and start working with you on the website project that you are doing. Now you'll again repeat the same process, you'll, you'll share the copy of the code file with the third person again. And now three people are working on the same code of the same project simultaneously. This leads to the problem that again Git fixes. Now imagine there is a login file that is common amongst the project. Obviously the website will have just a single login file to because there's a single login page on a website, right? And there are three different features that, you, that are dependent on the login page and all three of you have divided that, okay, one, each one of us will work on one of the features. But the common thing here is the login file in the website and you all have to make changes in that file. And this is just an example. It can happen to any other file. Like if there are so many files in the project and so many code changes by just three people. Imagine if there are 300 people or imagine if there are 30 people in the team working on the same code project. Now, when you get three people on board, amount of merges that you will have to do in the code files would increase. Now again, you'll have to sit together every uh, week once to, you know, sort of merge the code changes that everyone has done on the files because there will be many instances that people will be working on the same code file and there'll be some bits and pieces of code that everyone has written in the same file and it has to be merged. Now, if you add one more person to the team, four people in the team, 
the problem increases and as the team size grows the, this issue will only increase and at one given point of time you'll realize that this is enough the, you have to get some system in place that can handle all the code changes happening in the project source code and that is where git comes into picture so it's not just version control system it's complete you know source code management system where it handles different changes done by different contributors over a given period of time and it keeps a copy of every uh, version uh, of the code that is there so you know the history is maintained if in this case you store the code on git using git you you can easily share the access to your git code repository to with your friends and they can copy it in the local machine and start working on them. So now we have analyzed two problems. One is the version controlling system that Git maintains, which is an amazing thing. And that is the core feature of Git. Another problem is when you have a team, distributed team, which is working from their own uh, you know, homes after COVID situation, this is a very common thing. Or in general, you know, if people are working in the same office as well, but they won't be talking to each other every day regarding what changes that they have made in the code, so this is something that you know git can easily manage everyone has to take the code or keep a central repository of the code is maintained by git and everyone takes a copy from there and keeps on making changes to the same repository the same central repository so every person in the team knows what changes are being made because git makes sure that it will tell you it will tell everyone who has a copy of uh, the git repository that okay some changes have been made it's time you better you know, take the latest changes before making any further changes or when you commit or if you when when you want to upload some new changes to that central repository, it will say, OK, you know, there are some changes already made in this file. You had an older version of this file. So it also helps to merge the changes into the code file. So a lot of problems around source code management are handled by Git. And that is why it is so popular. It is, you know, used everywhere in the uh, IT industry. And hence, it has become, you know, a very crucial skill to have if you want to become a programmer. So I hope this video helps you understand what Git is, what was the basic requirement that Git was created. And if you have any question or any doubt or still, you know, there's something that is not adding up in your head and you still have, you know, some questions, some queries, feel free to post them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer all those uh, doubts and comments. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, I would request you to please do that. Press the bell icon and, you know, we try to upload more videos as we move on with the YouTube channel. If you're watching this video on Instagram, please follow uh, our Instagram page. We post amazing uh, content, creative, good, informative content on our Instagram page. And we'll be posting more reels and more videos in the future. So have a good day, happy coding, stay safe.